America is not a racist country. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, exonerations happen in America forever because there's always someone doing shady things to get that person in jail. Now, we know the all-white jury is the main culprit in many of these things, but sometimes you will have police officers, prosecutors, withholding evidence or just lying straight up about the evidence. And that person could be cleared from the evidence and they will withhold the entire thing. So this is Daryl Howard. He was recently awarded $6 million by a jury because a detective made up evidence against him and he ultimately was jailed behind that lie for two decades. Mm-mm-mm. A man who spent more than two decades behind bars after a detective fabricated evidence in a murder case against him. He was awarded this pass Wednesday by a federal jury six million dollars in damages he should get 20 million you should be made to give him a million for each year that he sat behind bars on falsified information and in this case the detective and the prosecutor are really behind why he was in that jail in the first place Mm -mm -mm. The jury found that former Durham police detective Daryl Dowdy faked evidence in a botch investigation that put Daryl Howard behind bars on double murder and arson charges for the 1991 killing of Doris Washington and her teenage daughter. Howard was exonerated when a judge vacated his conviction in 2016 on the basis of the police and prosecutor misconduct. So the detective botched the investigation. So I guess to save face, he came up with some fake evidence that put an innocent man behind bars. How is that doing a good job? How is that working hard in your profession? How? It's none of the above. The $6 million award on Wednesday stemmed from a 2017 federal civil rights lawsuit Howard had filed that blamed Dowdy and others for their role in his wrongful conviction. Responding to the verdict, Howard was disappointed that he was awarded damages that fell so far short because he was trying to go for 48 million in damages. And they gave him 6 million. Damn, you could have at least met him halfway. People are so rotten. I am happy about the verdict, but I'm kind of upset about the damages. And he has every right to be upset about the damages. That's an insult, especially when you know the detective and the prosecutor falsified information. Their asses belong in jail, not Daryl Howard. He didn't belong in jail, but that, that cop, that detective and the prosecutor, their asses should be sitting in jail. Just imagine 23 years I stayed in prison. That is that is just pathetic. That is pathetic. Well, I'm glad he's a free man. And he really should have gotten what he was asking for. And even if they couldn't give him the 48 million, they could have at least met him halfway. That's the least they could have done for sticking someone in jail for nothing. 
we see these stories over and over and over. And you would think as the years roll by, it would get better. You know why it don't get better, ladies and gentlemen? Because they don't give a damn about destroying the life of a black man in America. They don't care. They don't care. You put them, look, look at these insurrectionists. They're only getting a few months in jail and they are crying like somebody gave them a life sentence. They can't even handle the heat for a few months, but they won't hesitate to stick a black man in there for decades. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this story. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.